Hello and welcome to the Roguelands Ultimate Weapon Series. Today we're going to be looking at the Claymore. Now the Claymore is made from the Gadget Saber and an Aetherlite Prism, if you combine them in Mech City. And it is a weapon that I actually quite like. Uh, for a while I used this on Baradin, um, which is one of my farming characters, when I wasn't using the Forge Blade, which is another uh, weapon from the, uh, the Gadget Saber line. Now, this weapon has additional range, it has the, the increased length on a sword, which I, if you've seen any episodes before, you know that I actually quite like because I think it saves um, a lot of effort. Uh, and this one's better than some of the others because it has additional scaling. Now, this sword scales with just regular strength, then added on half of your tech. So it's strength plus tech divided by two. Again, that's half your tech plus your strength. So, going into this wonderful place called Desolate Canyon, we're going to go and kill Uragorak on challenge level one and be gravy with it. So, this sword. 230 which is oh hello mister excuse me get away there we go 142 plus 90 no 83 something like that no i don't know my maths anymore it's been a while it's like 86 and a half or something i'm i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop doing maths on on camera because i'm too tired now and i have no idea what's going on it doesn't matter, I'm doing 230 damage. Am I still doing it now I've leveled up? I should be, because I didn't level up. Oh, did level up my tech. Which it might not change, because it would have been a half. Level up. 230 I was doing before? Yeah, still the same. That's fine. It's a good weapon, honestly. Um, if you've got the right build for this sort of thing, I really like it. I don't think it's a weapon you use every day. Um, I think it's better on levels like this, where you can get uh, some sort of benefit from hitting something a little bit further away. And um, if you can do that, obviously it's a winner. But for me, beautiful. It hits multiple points on Uragorak's body because it's so uh, it's much longer than a regular sword, uh, which means you kill him quite quickly. I am genuinely a fan of this. Um, again, I don't have my enthusiasm is going to just taper on through to the video, but I actually quite like the Claymore. Uh, once more, it's not something you're going to use on every single level. It's not going to be that useful on, say, um, Molten Crag. I don't think it's going to be the best on Molten Crag because you don't really want to be in the face of any, uh, up in the face of any of the enemies. Um, and the wyverns, like, they stay in one place, so they might still be out of range of your sword, so you're going to have to jump around anyway. Uh, but for weapon, uh, for levels like this, excuse me, this sort of planet where there is some benefit to just standing underneath the, the iPods and hacking at them, it's good. I'm a big fan. It's um, really helpful to just chill out, have a good time, uh, and, you know, farm some, um, farm some crystals, some experience, whatever you need to do. Really, really good. It supports that sort of uh, playstyle, which is the kind that I really like. There we go. That one is the Claymore. It's another sword from the uh, Gadget Saber Tree. And I must mention, historical moment. This is the first weapon I finished within the series. Um, it is the, uh, the, Glad the Gadget Saber. It's done. It's finished. It's over. I'm so happy with that. Um, I should mention, because I have used this weapon a little bit, it's like level 7 now. Just leveled it up to there. Uh, which is great, because, again, it's a weapon I do use and I will be using in the future anyway. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, obviously, there's still plenty more videos to come, so stay subscribed to the channel to see those as soon as they come out. Uh, we're on the home stretch, really. There's only just recording the videos to do. Uh, i just give you guys some information about the, the weapons and show them in action. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the content as it comes out. Uh, I hope to see you again in the near future. But until then, please look after yourselves, and I'll see you guys soon.